Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I want to show you how to take Japanese history notes using an infinite canvas like this. I'll explain some features while making a list of Tokugawa family or Tokugawa shoguns. And this time I'll use a note taking app called OneNote. Unlike many other apps, it's got such an interesting feature where you can write on canvas with no edges. It has many features and you can do so much with this app, and it's available for free. So even if you haven't used this app yet, it's definitely worth downloading and giving it a try. You can literally find many functions and though the UI is set in a way that might confuse you in the beginning, as you keep using it, you get used to it, so please give it a try. If you want to know more details about features or watch a full tutorial regarding this app, I've done a full tutorial video a little while ago, so it might be a good idea to watch that one first and come back here. I'll put the link to the video in the description box down below. Alright, let's go ahead and learn about history and the iPad at the same time. It would be great if you could watch this video until the end. Okay, once you open OneNote, create a new page first. Once you have it, type in the title. As you write a title here at the top, you automatically put the title also in the sidebar on the left. Once your title is set, we'll start typing text here on this white canvas. We have these tabs here at the top, and this time we'll mainly use this one called Draw. Here we can use tools such as brushes, erasers, and lots of tools. So go ahead and write with this tab turned on. Since we want to work on Japanese history notes today, we will write in a way to have a timeline from the top to bottom. Since OneNote is a note taking app with an infinite canvas, you can literally keep writing and scrolling down to see your notes endlessly. So we are going to keep adding stuff to the timeline here. I want to have a list of Tokugawa family this time, so I'm just going to write them in order like Ieyasu Tokugawa, Hidetada, Iemitsu, etc. But I find it kind of difficult to remember stuff with text only, so let's add some images. Right now I have Safari open on the right. As you search Tokugawa Shogun on Wikipedia, this image shows up, and as you drag and drop it like this, you can paste it here on one note. You can then change the size and the position later too, so once you set in the position you like, go ahead and keep adding other images in the same way. So just drag and drop the next one like the second shogun, the third shogun, etc. When you want to paste multiple images all at once, while having one selected with one finger, just tap on other images with your other hand like this. This way you get to select multiple images at once and move them to wherever you want as you can see. You could also make all of these smaller by selecting them with a lasso tool like this as well. Let me do it again. Select one with one finger, tap other items with your other hand like this, drag them and release your hand. This way you can move multiple items like this. You can select multiple items not only in Safari or in this app we're using right now, OneNote, but also in different apps including camera and video editing apps, so please remember this feature. Okay, from now on, let's put the names of Tokugawa Shogun next to each image. So let's put Ieyasu, Hidetada, Iemitsu, Ietsuna, etc. You know, I was writing their names down while referring to Wikipedia, but I couldn't even recognize some characters, so I was kind of in shock. Can you read all of this? I could read only like three of them, and I couldn't read the rest at all. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed by how much I could read, but you guys too, please give it a try and see how much you can read. It was kind of interesting for me to see how much I could read without looking at Furigana or their Ruby characters. Now that we have their names written down, let's put years and events on the right. We have what's called a shape tool, and grab the straight line tool from here. 
Using this, you can draw a beautiful straight line just by pulling it towards the bottom like this. We will put years as well as events on the right. So basically, you want to put years vertically, and we want to write about things they did horizontally from left to right. So for instance, at the top here, I could keep putting things that Ieyasu did in the past on the right like this. Now that we have enough things written down, let's add some highlights. We have this highlights feature at the top. So grab color as well as the brush size here and underline some parts that are important. We have years as well as events now, but let's add some more notes on the right here on the memo. We could write things like what kind of personality years Tokugawa had, or about his wife, etc. So any extra information you wanna add can be written here in the memo. Once we're done with this part, Let's start creating a category reference right next to it. In this sub one note, you can even implement PDF files. Not just PDF files, you can insert some data from Word or Excel, and you can also put some links too. I want you to watch my previous video to learn about how to do these things, but this time we'll insert a PDF file. If you look at the tab at the top, there is an insert tab. So select it, and there you can find PDF. So tap it. Now we have Files app open. And this is where you can select a PDF file of your choice. So from here, choose whichever file you want to insert, such as this one on Gias Tokugawa, for instance. Now as you select one, it gets pasted at the bottom like this. You can see pages here too. We want to move this, but we don't really need a screen preview right now. So select an image, and tap the button that says delete a print preview. This should leave this icon only, so select the icon, and move it to the top like this. Sorry, the screen might be kinda too small for you to see it, but just like this you can move the icon to wherever you prefer. For the PDF file attached, as you tap the button like this, it should give you an option that says preview right here. And now you can see the PDF file like this. This is pretty awesome, right? You can access to your PDF file on your notes and see it. Just like this, you could keep attaching files here, and this will make it a lot easier for you to refer to them when you come back here later. So please remember this feature. Other than this, you can also have some links. So you could copy the URL from Safari and paste it here on your notes as well, which will make it easier for you to access to the website later. Here we also have stickers. These might be helpful when you want to draw attention to you or emphasize some parts. You could put some stickers and say review this part later or something, so it might be a good idea to make use of this feature as well. They got a lot of funny stickers too, so it might be fun just to have a look and see what they have. At last, I want to introduce you to this thing called a research tool. Here on the very right, we have a research tool, so select this and search something such as Tokugawa family for instance. Just like what we did with Safari earlier, it searches and gives you the results like Wikipedia here again. And as you drag these references or images, or tap the plus button here, you can paste them here on your notes. 
So you could either drag and drop them from Safari or use the research tool in OneNote to paste images and other stuff. It's really up to you, but I find it better to have some images together as they help me memorize stuff better. I find it easier to remember things with the help of some images and illustrations rather than with text only. So I hope you guys make use of these features according to your needs as well. Alright, with these text and images, now it's complete. I've only covered some major figures of the Tokuga family this time, but even then, I have these notes that are this long in length. You could also expand your notes horizontally and write more stuff too, so please make your notes in any way you like. Before I end though, let me show you a way to export. To export, there's an export button at the upper right, so tap it. This should give you some options down here, but this time select send a copy of the page at the very bottom, and select an option that says open with a different app. This will let you open your notes or PDF with a different app. So this time I'll open it with Acrobat. It's a software by Adobe. So as you tap it, you can open it on Acrobat. Acrobat is basically an app that deals with the PDF files, so it might be a good idea to have your files saved here as well. But the thing is, once you open Acrobat, I couldn't open these icons or the PDF files that I attach on the very right, so you would have to manage your files in OneNote in case you want to open these in your notes. Links like these wouldn't work on a different app, so this is something to keep in mind. Alright, this is all for today. How was it? I used to find it difficult to remember things using a regular note-taking app with pages divided, but having everything on one page like this really helps me understand and remember things better. So anyone who's interested in making some notes on history for instance, please try using this app OneNote with an infinite canvas. It would be a good idea to use this app when you want to include a bunch of images for your notes as well. Just like today's video, I talk about all the useful stuff you can do with your iPad, like how to make use of note-taking apps, how to draw illustrations, and many more. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button down below. I also run my online community dedicated to iPads called iPadMate, where you get to learn about iPads, and you can ask me anything about iPads, and I also do live streaming once a week. So if you're interested, please check it out from the link down below. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video until the end. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.